Okay, so let's uh, let's start, huh? Welcome to Let's Talk Webinars. Right. Oh, I always wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, on a big on a big film set. Well, this is this is a pretty big film set. This is a pretty big film set. Well, at least it's our film set. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of films uh, being produced here. A lot of films. Maybe maybe and that's more videos are being produced here. Yeah, maybe that's something that uh, we can uh, talk about, like uh, video in general. Of course. Yeah, because uh, you know a lot of people, uh, especially especially when you look on the internet as well, it always uh, goes uh, about content. Yes. You know, and uh, uh, you know actually, it's, um, content is a buzzword right uh, right now. You see, actually, also content creator. You know, the people that are. Um, yeah, they, they are having the task to create lots of uh, co uh, content. <laughs> uh, it's like a verb. It's also like an adjective. It's like uh, blogs, videos, webinars. But you Social know, media posts. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, channels, yeah, yeah. Uh, podcasts. Of course. So, but uh, maybe it's good to uh, to zoom in uh, on one specific uh, type of content that uh, I think we both. Uh, have a lot of interest for and that is uh, video and that is video yeah so what does it mean for you video well video for me means uh well of course a lot because i, I make videos almost daily right here at webinar geek yeah uh, as a broadcast operator and as a content creator as well uh which range from the youtube videos which some of you may already seen saw and uh sometimes help videos as well so video 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 and a lot for social media as well yeah short social media videos so every day yeah i'm working with uh Working with video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think it's for you about the same, right? Yeah, I think uh, what for me, you know, video is uh, it is also a, you know buzzword incoming passion. You know, it's for me when I it's it video started already when I was very young, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, in the nineties we had the video stores and every time I you know my, when my parents like lost me they would call the video store. <laughs> is he standing there? <laughs> Yes, he is at the at the horror section. Okay, can you tell him uh, that we are going to eat? You know, so it, it really, and uh, I was always looking at these uh, these VHS uh, covers, and it was very like it. Yes. You know what I really liked about it? It, it told a story already. Yet this, yet the, the front side, the artwork sometimes was really amazing. And then you would turn it over, it would have like this red sticker saying 16, 16 years and older, and that would intrigue me. Of course, like I wanted to watch that, not the green for every age, no, or 12, the blue one, but the 16, for 16 years older. Of course, when you're not 16. Exactly, yeah, to yeah, yeah. totally, totally, <laughs> totally, yeah, and totally. And then we had like older brothers that we were above 16 renting mm -hmm. that. But the thing is that, you know, um, this, it, it, it is very, there is a, uh, a link to that and, and today, because, you know, there was on the backside, there was a small story uh, like, you know, it was like the, the synopsis of the movie yes. and it was written for, uh, with the purpose of you renting it. Yes, exactly. Th there were like maybe three or four little squares with an image uh, of the video and it was only uh, created, it was already some kind mm -hmm. of content, created a visual created for you to take that box, go to the counter and, r and rent it. So, so it's actually marketing. It is marketing because it, yeah. it makes you buy the film. Exactly, it is. It is. It is. It is marketing. Some type of marketing. Yeah, so. but but um, you know back then and and afterwards when you can uh, DVD, it is uh, reserved. It was reserved for the cinematic industry, mm -hmm. right? There were yes. there were no companies yet promoting their uh, product <laughs> product on VHS or, or <laughs> no, that would be awesome. Though. It would be awesome. Rent rent my video where I'm going to uh, show you in ninety minutes uh, how this product works. Yes, well, you, now, well, if we're going to go that way, I believe uh, in the 90s and 80s, you do, you did have a lot of uh, aerobics videos. Yeah. So kind of like, yeah, totally. It's like, that's like, hey, follow my course, yeah. follow my yeah. program on VHS with uh, Jane Fonda. Yeah, or exactly. Uh, yeah, no, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and these were already like, uh, and, and, and that is, it has evolved into like webinars as well. Mm -hmm. Like people, yes, uh, right. yeah, uh, de demoing how something works or, giving an online training so yeah i think at, and and that is funny that this was more like the the analog period versus right now is everything's digital but there there's there's a lot of uh how do you say like uh, comparisons between the between the two yes and um 
yeah, I'm I really, you know, I, I bought a lot of VHS also in the time and, and I still have them like neatly stacked uh, in, the, in the bookstore uh, somewhere, or in the bookshelf. Uh, but it's, uh, it is indeed funny that it is, it is marketing. It, it, you know, when you walked into that store and you saw like maybe a few hundred of uh, video cases neatly st stacked up, which one do you choose? And right now, social media is that is, is resembling that store. You walk in, you see a, a wall with a lot of posts, a lot of um, um, advertisements screaming for your attention. Which one do you choose? Well, uh, that's funny that you say that because I do believe that it's a bit different with uh, nowadays because now we have something on social media which is called infinite scrolling. Yeah. Which means you never, ever run out of content. If you go on Instagram, you can scroll down for... 10 hours and there's still something for you to watch. Yeah. But as you go to a VHS store, eventually... Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah VHS, that's, that's, so that's interesting. Some type of yeah. box. Yeah. Box, funny VHS Exactly, box. yeah. But no, uh, for you to watch all the films, yeah. especially that year that came out, because yeah. those were films that were the most popular, I think. Yeah. Uh, I missed that part, of course, yeah. because of our age difference. No, I think I think, I think it's, it's a valid point. There was, there was however, there was a... You know um, the, the 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 content from the video store was being renewed because there were new movies coming yes. coming in. Um, so the, their 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 offer, you know, became bigger in a sense, but it was way way slower than it is right now. Mm -hmm. And if you look, for instance, at the streaming services, which kind of took over the the video stores, I, I read this week that um, you know all the major streaming services, HBO, Disney, and Netflix. Uh, which one else? There's there's one more, Disney, Netflix, uh, HBO, and Amazon Prime. If they if you combine, they have like eight hundred thousand titles, so you'll never have enough time to to watch it all. And that's also like you say, like infinite. There the, yes. the 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 amount of content is infinite. You know, it's I think that uh, we humans have come to a point where there's you know there, you cannot consume more content than at a certain moment, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's. Uh, Yes, and that is also something that I actually like about those uh, stores. Well, in my case, it was the, the free record shop where yeah. I bought my DVDs. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. The, the, the step, uh, step further. Yeah. But uh, also there, and especially with new content on social media, we can still watch the old movies yeah. from the 90s and from the 80s. In the 80s and 90s, you only had those movies yeah. because you didn't have movies from the future. Yeah. Yeah. So we can go back in films right now, yeah. back then. You yeah. Know, otherwise, you could watch a black or white film. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. And and silent film. But then, yeah, exactly. But the, yeah, and yeah, they say you know like when it's older, it's more like a classic. There's a lot of value there. There's a lot of lessons. There's mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, art uh, to be discovered there. But then it's um, I don't really see a comparison with content uh, right now because right now. How, you know, posts, content posts that were created or content that it was created in like 2016. How much, how much, how often do you uh, go back to 2016 and say, hey, I got a classic piece of content right here that we wrote in 2016. It was a different time back then. Uh, but we want, you know. It to music, I believe, but not via YouTube videos or something. I don't go, I don't show to my friends, hey, check out this awesome yeah. ancient YouTube video from 2016 I found. No, so, it, it, but that is, it is a funny aspect actually, because, yes. you, you know, you said the, the, the content loop is infinite, but it's mm -hmm. also that we, uh, you know, somewhere we expect from content for it to be uh, the latest. It needs to be the yes. latest, and that is live streaming is actually uh, building building that as well. Because when you're live, your your content is the most up to date. You know, yes, um, you, you can share Talk. facts from that day, and then the next day your live stream. You know, if you're if, if you're a high high performing uh, content producer, then you know, uh, it's like the news, then the old one becomes absolutely exactly, exactly, hours. exactly. Yeah. So it's it is it is funny in a way that you know the content that is being created today for for marketing purposes for businesses, it is um, it it has this element of it needs to be uh, relevant. Yes, and that is a relevancy. Yes, this is an interesting topic as well yeah. because uh, if I watch the content of, of, of nowadays. I don't think there is much, uh, or I think actually there is a lot of relevance and um, 
uh, new things or things that are going on in news in post from social media, for example. So I think relevance, like you say, is indeed very uh, important. But uh, one thing you said a couple of minutes earlier, you talked about uh, how movies, uh, classic movies, are art. Yeah. Can you explain a bit more about that? Because you call uh, classic movies art, so you've got to give me some examples. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I know you want to. I know, I know yeah. I, I've been waiting for a moment, a stage, a medium for for this to share. Well, I think I think we can prolong this video with at least like sixty minutes if we're even going down that road. But now, um, you know, there's uh, it's it's funny. Like, when is if we, we talk about movie or, or, or specific content, when is it becoming a classic? You know, it's is it is it it has to do with time. You know, there were mm -hmm. there are you know there are probably a few gems out there that were, became an instant classic. There's also um, uh, movies, especially when you're talking like a cult classic. It, it, it takes time. You know, there's a lot of people. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people that need to talk to each other about it. They need to see it. They need to uh yeah, visited they need to in, in you know for me like and if if you're like if you're saying like what art i think that it has to do with multiple interpretations yes. so for instance um what i uh had to learn appreciate is uh for instance um movies with an open ending mm -hmm. you know I, yes. because because it uh, allows you when the movie is over so or when you stop watching the content to continue in your own time to yeah uh, you know give more thoughts like what would happen then or what was this what i what did i see um so there's one of my beloved franchises which was actually killed because they were explaining everything uh and i'm talking about the the alien franchise uh I, when i was like uh yeah, actually i grew up with it you know when i was like uh in in, in grammar school I remember that when we watched it at a friend's home, you know, it was very exciting because it was such a scary movie, the second part. Yeah. Because, you know, for me, sequels are often <laughs> sequels, better yeah, know, than, the, uh, than the first. Um, but, you know, and then, you know, in the latest uh, few years ago, they, they had to explain where these xenomorphs came from. And for me, it, you know, killed every mystery, mystery you know, and, and there was like... Uh, maybe that is also uh, with a link like for for today. Are we are we not explaining everything too much because it some kind of kills the creativity of a person or the, the the space where you can actually allow someone to think about what something means, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I think that like uh, in the classic time or like um, a while back, they gave more uh, space. For that and and uh, if you were watching like also there was there was a lot of build-up you know and the, there was a lot of story story is an, an extremely important element to every yes. type of content yes. but right now we live in an age where if there's nothing happening in the first three four seconds people skip and that is it's for me as a video producer it's extremely hard because you, there's no you cannot build up uh, anything because the, we we have developed a super extremely short attention span and that is and, and you know the fact that you have to adapt your uh content to it because otherwise you yeah it's 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 uh it's i think that's a very very big challenge i think it's a very big challenge too uh for example let's take a tiktok and youtube uh still on youtube the videos are 10 minutes well compared to a movie 10 minutes is still incredibly short yeah but uh, a tiktok is i believe maximum of 30 seconds and 10 seconds normal 10 seconds 10 seconds for a video yeah. for a video and for a for one piece of content 10 seconds to tell a story a joke or whatever yeah it's incredibly short and i think because we grew up with those films and dvds and with open endings yeah uh, it's funny that you say alien because i believe the director from alien one was ridley scott exactly yeah yes and well one of my films that i grew up with was gladiator yeah also by ridley scott both of them i believe have a uh, sort of open ending although gladiator i'm not sure but well they're making a sequel to uh, to gladiator yes, right now so i believe there is there is yeah, some type there is. of open ending so it's funny that we both grew up even though our age difference with the same director yeah <laughs> and oh yeah totally open ending so i think that is one of the reasons why we 
as a content creator are constantly uh, busy with storytelling yeah. and uh, 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 technique as well because technique in my exactly, opinion, totally. is, a, is a very important part to, to tell your story or to improve on your story. So yeah. I think that is a reason why we have more with uh, YouTube videos or, or films than with short Instagram shorts or uh, TikToks. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's true because... We because want to say more because we have more creativity, we have more story, we want yeah. to tell more story. But also, like, Gladiator is a great example because, you know, it's it's a three-hour-long movie. I remember yes. that when we went to <laughs> holi- on, on holiday in the car, we would, like, watch Gladiator three times and we would arrive at our destination. Um, oh no, it was Gladiator, Braveheart, and then someone else. But it goes also three o'clock, uh, three hours. But the the thing is with these, uh, the, the length of these movies, this content is that you can build up to a massive uh, scene at the end, like mm-hmm. a climax, and it and it it strikes, it comes, you know, it comes to you so much harder than then then you have like a few seconds to make your point because in the in the like the TikTok and in the the shorts that we were watching. You need to you need to set the stage. You need to tell your story. You need to have your uh, storytelling. You need to have your uh, your your uh, your impact. You need to have an action. You need to engage. You need to uh, the music needs to fit. You know which which music in ten seconds fits. It's uh, you know it's uh, yeah. it, uh, you know it, it's uh, it is extremely extremely hard to be um, differentiating. And that is every, and 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 I think. Differentiating is what everybody tries to do because you know of the infinite content loop. Yes. You need to you need to stand out. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's. Uh, but the, the thing is, is can you really stand out if you only have ten seconds? I mean, you need to be incredibly good at what you do if you want to stand out in ten seconds. Because I, as a broadcast operator, if you say, I will give you ten seconds to show me you're the best broadcast operator in the world. Yeah. Well, you need to you need, exactly. Yeah, you need to do things that are unconventional, and that is, and that is some some kind of competition. Um, and keep trying. And keep that trying. Something. Keep trying, and uh, yeah. Also, <clears throat> keep that creativity flowing. Yeah, yeah, it, it, so. and and you know, I think that is, uh, that is the, the 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 challenge. Like, you know, if you're looking at the length of your content, you know, and that's for a webinar as well. Um, you can, you know, if you're having a webinar of 30 minutes or you're having a webinar of 90 minutes, you know, you can go in different, uh, uh, how do you say, like, um, deep, di- if you're going for 90 minutes, you can deep dive more. And uh, it, it, it means that you're obviously taking much more space from your audience, but it also means that at a certain moment, when you have done your intro, uh, when you've set the stage, your storytelling can go way deeper. And there's a lot of value there, right? So mm-hmm. there's, um, uh, but but then again, you know, it's it's hard because the attention span for such things. Yes, when when do you have like ninety minutes where you're going to sit for to, you know, someone talk and you know you, you probably want to know in advance is this going to be valuable because my time is uh, constrained. You know, it's it's yeah. I think that's I think that's hard. And also, if you have a 90 minute webinar and you have a great story then still like we said before you got to make sure that you leave something to think about for the audience so you don't have to explain everything in those 90 minutes so there is a sweet spot between uh, 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 too short and tell half of the story and too long and tell way too much totally totally and 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 I think that the uh, answer has been provided uh, to us. Wow, this is going back to what we started by uh, streaming platforms, mm-hmm. because the streaming platforms, series, seasons, episodes, this was a whole new way of categorizing. Uh, oops. Well, that there goes our logo. So we're going to have this put put this back. When you're live, some kind of sometimes this happens. Um, it is actually the um, I say that the so uh, it goes back to the streaming uh, platforms because they gave us some kind of a structure with uh, you know shows, seasons, uh, episodes, and uh, actually it, it was funny. I was uh, I once had the the honor to uh, attend the 
uh, film festival in Cannes, you know, as a, oh, a spectator, wow. as a spectator. I wasn't, I wasn't there, to, but but I heard, I heard the, um, the, a person say that movies will be uh, obsolete; they will be re replaced by series. Yes. And I, and I think that is that is actually happening mm -hmm. right now. You know, you see the streaming services; they are like this, like the with the with the categorization. It is, it adapts to the audience. You know. Uh, we don't mind watching 45 minutes for for an episode, uh, but we do mind watching a movie for 90 minutes, uh, and that is with the content right uh, right now as well. You know, if you have a uh, you you want to have a, you have a lot of content, you can either say I'm going I'm going to host a webinar of 90 minutes, and I hope that everybody will be there, or you can cut it up in like three um, like episodes or in a series where you say Hey, um, you know, uh, and I think we're adapting to that format. Yes, I think so as well, and I think that it's um, in a, uh, indeed a great um, uh, a great way to fill in the gap between too short and tell half the story and uh, ninety minutes and tell too much. And the, the the great thing about live streaming is that you can decide how long you want to talk about something. Yeah. For like, if we are done talking right now, we just go to the camera and say, "Hey, we're done." Yeah. So it's also with uh, live stream and content creation, you are, or you decide how long a piece of content will be and how long you need. Because it would be very weird to say to a content creator, well, you've got to make 15 minutes of content right now. We don't know. Yeah. So that's why uh, also with a lot of YouTube videos, we, we, we or, or at least I thought, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes is the only thing that works on YouTube and I've proven on our own web making YouTube channel, that, that isn't the case. If yeah. I have seven minutes to talk about for this microphone, then I talk seven minutes about the microphone, and I know that those seven minutes is exactly what I want to tell. Yeah. And it's all the information that I know, all the information I want to tell, and I know that those seven minutes, because seven minutes compared to a 90 minute movie, is still very short. So you have a lot of information in a very short amount of time, and I, as the creator, I'm happy because I told everything I want to tell. Yeah. And I think that is uh, one of the, the, the greatest benefits of live streaming. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I agree. And I think that, you know, the um, if, if the content is good, you know, you forget the time. And, yes, that, is, and, that, and that is probably also why right now our attention spans are, are short because there's a lot of content that's probably not good, you know? So mm -hmm. uh, you're, we, well, we've become- a content creator. Yeah, exactly. So. And, and we have become like very picky, like where do we want our limited time to go to, right? And uh, so, uh, but because like uh, back then, I've, if you would watch a movie, you were not like watching, hey, I'm already watching like uh, 62 minutes, right? It's mm -hmm. And and right, you, just watch you, you you would watch it, and uh, it would be good or not, and 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 that's it. But uh, and I think that right now it uh, the, the time is uh, already an important factor in in advance, and that is uh, yeah, that is sometimes uh, difficult, right? It, like it's become part of a metric for like also like with YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you have a, if you have longer videos. Then you get more audience, right? Then you you're, then you're being presented with more uh, people from the audience than if you have like um, maybe one or two length videos. I think so. Yes, I don't know for sure because I don't know much about those uh, uh, YouTube analytics. But I think it is if your video is between ten and twenty minutes, it gets more attention than shorter than ten minutes or yeah, because way longer than twenty. Yeah, because I, I would say that it's, but that's my, my uh, you know, personal opinion. I would say like uh, the, the, the algorithm should be that the more interesting your content is, the more audience you're being presented instead of the, the amount of time that is being spent on creating the content. Yes, well, I, I think that, that the algorithm should just be based on uh, 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 clicks and the mixture of what you already know and what you completely don't know. Yeah. And that is something I always have found to be a bit uh, uh, troubling because if I go to my YouTube right now, there's probably a lot of things to do with cameras, yeah. music, yeah. and those kind of things. But I will never, ever, ever see a video about uh, the top 10 greatest construction workers of all time. Yeah, yeah. See the greatest metal guitarist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. And I, I, 
of course, I like it, but it's like eating the same, your same favorite dish. You know you like it, so, but give me something else, please. So I think yeah. that is also one of the reasons why um, but it is the how, creativity yeah. and the it, it, attention totally. span is, yeah. is, is, is decreasing. Yeah, but that is, that is, that is funny. For, me, for me, for instance, I would listen a lot to uh, uh, artists on YouTube because mm -hmm. I would... I would know their music, but on uh, the column on the right side, it's like suggestions, I would learn a lot of new uh, musicians there. So it's in a way, you know, it, it depends on what, what it, and I think the algorithm has been designed uh, like, you like this, you listen to this a lot, so we're going to feed you more with this. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's kind of limiting, you know, that's what you're saying you want actually want to learn more like hey okay i already know this what's what's there what's there what's what's uh behind it and maybe you discover new things yes but because otherwise you really get stuck in a bubble and there's space in the bubble yeah. but it's still a bubble yeah, yeah i agree yeah yeah so um yeah i think that the you know uh, as a as a i think that we can say that as a content creator uh we feel that um you know like al algorithms uh, are pushing you in a certain way for you know that needs to be consumed it needs to be have metrics like time uh, uh etc et in order to grow a larger audience which is obviously the um and it's 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 obviously not a bad thing but it's it for for you know creating uh content it's can be can be challenging in that way. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I would say that um, you know, in, in order to conclude this talk as well, is that uh, creativity, storytelling, uh, is the most important metric in uh, creating yes. the content, and we've Absolutely. seen that. Why? Why are we connected to movies? Because they they played that part well, right? Yeah, 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 they, well. You know, they 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 had like a lot of creativity that we would put in. Um, and uh, it established an emotional connection. And I think that that is something that uh, brands try to do that as well today, yes. right? Creating an, an emotional connection with your audience. Uh, and to a recognizable aesthetic in the case of marketing. Yeah, exactly. In order to make sure that, you know, your, your audience recognizes your brand in certain situations or want to belong. But still be creative in that aesthetic. That is something that I would like to add as well, because even though you have set yourself as, hey, this is my company, you can still yeah. be creative within that aesthetic yeah. in order to make great content. Yeah, and, 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 and finally, I think that with the metrics that we talked about, mm -hmm. uh, which is a given, you know, we need to, uh, right now for the audience of today, yes. we need to uh, produce content that that's kind of fits that metric, mm -hmm. uh, you know, grab the attention in the first few uh, seconds uh, in order to escape the infinite loop and that's, a, that's, and, a, that's and, actually a good thing because that's a challenge for us for us and it is indeed it is it is a good thing it is a good so thing because it challenges us to be creative in these few, first few seconds yes. um, and for the future as well because if we do uh, if we are creative within those 10 seconds right now uh, maybe we have an advantage in 10 years uh, totally we, totally right now we jumped on the, the, the tiktok train to say yeah. so yeah no, it is. It is. It's definitely uh, great. Uh, great to see what's uh, what is what is what is coming, and I think that um, yeah, re rely on the for for video creation. Rely on the on the on the on the passion that you have because then it will be the most authentic. Yes. Yeah. All right. I think, uh, I think that was it for this talk. Yes. Yeah. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye.